hey guys welcome back to my channel um that was weird okay let's do that again <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. If you're new, thank you for clicking on my video. If you're not new, then welcome back to the madness. As you can see, I'm back home home. I just like to switch up my locations all the time, just to like keep it fresh, you know? And today's video is a little get ready with me. I haven't done a get ready with me in so long. I have new makeup products and things that I'm doing with my makeup so thought I'd talk through all of that whilst I also answer some questions and talk about some different things that you guys asked me on Instagram so I know I did a Q&A not that long ago it was literally like a few weeks ago but uh, people asked me some different questions so I'm just going to talk about those things whilst I do the makeup without further ado let's get started I'm wearing this hoodie that I basically live in um excuse my hair it's just been scraped back for this video's purpose I'm actually getting ready, like, I'm probably going to be wearing too much makeup for what I'm about to do this afternoon. I'm literally going to be cleaning my car um, because I want to sell my car, so I'm going to be deep cleaning that. And then I'm going to see a friend who I haven't seen in ages, which would be so lovely. And then me and my family are going to um, buy In the Heights on Sky Store because it's literally my favourite film and I want my parents to watch it. So we're going to buy that on Sky Store, watch that tonight. And I'm going back to London in a few days, so the content will then move back to London. I have literally planned out the next like two months worth of videos, which is really exciting. Obviously things might change depending on job situations and stuff, but for now, I've got some really exciting things planned. So, without further ado, let's get started. I've already washed my face and moisturised like earlier when I had a shower, so that's done. Let's do a little skin update because I literally woke up with the hugest spot ever there, squeezed it, and so that's great. But actually, my skin is doing quite well for me. If you've watched um, many of my videos, you'll know I've had acne for ages and I've been on this massive journey with acne. I've got several videos on it. So if you go on my channel and just look for those, there's loads. <laughs> um, and I basically have been sorting out like my gut health and my hormones in order to fix my skin. But the past two months, I wanna say, I have been eating and drinking whatever I want. I have been not sleeping very well, not exercising well, <laughs> traveling a lot, and not taking any of my Femme 21 or any of the like hormone balancing ingredients. So I'm really, really gonna tell myself <laughs> to get back into that routine um, when I'm back in London in a few days. And yes, then we'll start the journey sort of from scratch again, but I do think my skin has cleared up a lot since then it's just a few random ones here and there it's mainly just here as well like i don't really get them anywhere else anymore which is good so that's the skin update over and done with and um, what i used to wash my face now completely different probably to what i said in my last videos but i now use this um simple cleanser this one's nearly run out i've got a new one in london um it's the simple moisturizing facial wash and it's 100% soap free, it's got like no perfumes and chemicals and things, really really good. Um, I used to use La Roche Posay or Pose, however you say it. That one is also really good, it's just a lot more expensive and I think this one is actually better for my skin. So I'm sticking with this one now. And then in terms of moisturiser, I now use um, just the Nivea Soft moisturiser, loving it. I've basically stopped using everything I used to use. I don't have like an extensive skincare routine anymore. I used to use loads of things from The Ordinary. I now just sometimes use the moisturizer, which I've got here, um, or sometimes use the hyaluronic acid drops, I think. No, that's not what they're called. I can't remember. Oh, niacinamide drops. I was using them like every day or twice a day about a year ago or less, I can't remember. Um, but I don't really use them anymore. I'm trying to just like cut it all back and just use literally like two products. Right, let's let's get a little topic up. What do people want to hear? Right, so whilst I uh, start my face, so I always make sure I'm moisturised and then I begin with a beauty blender. Mine's actually really dirty. I really need to clean it. And I use MAC foundation. I have a couple of these ones, but I get the shade NC20. This is a good shade for me. Can you see that? I'm a real beauty guru there. 
um, and it's the Studio Fix Fluid with SPF 15. I just really love the coverage of this, but the next foundation I want to try is the NARS Sheer Glow or something. I've heard amazing things about that. So that's the next one I want to try, but for now, this one is really, really good. I've been using it for probably about three years now. Um, my mum did actually buy me this one for Christmas or for my birthday. No, my birthday it would have been which is the powder version. I haven't actually tried it yet, so maybe I'll try that on a TikTok or something, I don't know, um, because I haven't tried it yet and I really need to, but I'm just so set in my ways with this. So yeah, I just use quite a lot of this and I just build it up to get the coverage that I like. This one's nearly run out, so I have to tap it quite a bit. Um, but the first question is, how do you grow your hair so long? So obviously, if you don't watch my videos, you won't know how long my hair is when it's tied up like this. But my hair is like like nearly at my bum now, which is crazy. Um, I used to have always really long hair and then I decided to cut it really stupidly in when I was in year 11, um, just before proms, so that was like six years ago. And then I decided to cut it again. I don't know why I didn't learn the first time, but I decided to cut it again in um christmas of second year which was like december 2019 so just before covid basically and then to grow it over all of like the lockdowns and stuff i was trying to just not put heat on my hair because i was like i'm not going anywhere so what's the point um and then in the third lockdown especially so the one that was this year january till march i basically was doing hair masks i was trying to only wash my hair once or twice a week like literally just letting the grease <laughs> sit in my hair um and i basically just don't use as much heat i do now i'm going out again but i was at that point i literally was never straightening my hair or blow drying it or anything um i just use really good products as well i'm loving at the moment the these ones the garnier ultimate blends um hair food ones I love those and the hair masks that come with those they're really really good um and i use like serums and stuff i've got a whole video actually where i talk about my hair so i will link that down below but it's on my channel and i literally go into depth about all the different products that i was using at that time and my hair grew so much and i used to have really bad bleach damage so i've resurrected that <laughs> they're my main tips for hair growth basically just don't sizzle off with straighteners all the time like i used to and don't dye it blonde when it's literally this color naturally <laughs> But um, yeah, that video explains things a lot better than what I've just said there. So go and check that one out and I explain it a lot better. <laughs> right, so once I've caked my face in foundation, I have to go down the chin a bit because I haven't got any fake tan on and I'm not naturally tanned at the minute. I've not been out in the sun ever this holidays really. I say holidays as if like I'm going back to school, but I'm really not. So once I have it, the coverage that I want, and just make sure it's all blended in, we then go on to concealer. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is like the new packaging. It used to look like, oh, maybe I didn't bring it with me. It used to have a different packaging basically, but this is the new one. It feels like you get a lot more product in this one, but I'm not really sure. I always get the lightest shade that they have in stock. This one is Porcelain 2, um, because I use it pretty much for contouring. I don't use it to cover up blemishes. That's why I want the really um, full coverage foundation. For this, I'm literally going under my eyes there to cover up bags. Then I do that to like lift my eyes up a bit. Oh, that nearly went in my eyeball should have probably done that in the mirror rather than the camera then a bit on my chin a bit on my cupid's bow then i just go up my nose a bit on my forehead in between my brows that is really really gone into my eye um, and then down here just under like the dent of where my cheekbone is to help with that contour if that makes sense right in next question when are we getting a flat tour well you're not gonna get a flat tour yet <laughs> let's just say that um i'm not sure how i'm not going to show the whole flat because i live with other people so that's not really fair on them also just for like privacy reasons and stuff like i'm not going to be showing the whole flat 
However, you will get a room tour. Just not yet. You've just got to wait until my whole vision comes together. Um, because basically I've got we've got to get the windows redone so once the windows have been redone then i'll be able to have like my fresh curtains in that i want at the minute the curtains in there are just like really old ones from like here that we used to have um so once i've got the windows done then i can repaint the walls a little bit and get the curtains in that i want and then basically finalize the bits I want and then from there I'll see which bits of bedding I want however I will try in the next couple of weeks to do a wardrobe video because my plans for my wardrobe are really exciting so if I can in the next couple of weeks I will do that video for you so you'll see my wardrobe first and then you'll get the whole like room tour and maybe I'll do a tour of like the living spaces but no one else's rooms and stuff Following on from that, somebody said, who do you live with? I'm going to do a video about that as well. <laughs> I'm sure some people know, some people have guessed. Um, but I think it's quite a unique living situation. So I'm going to make a video out of it. And maybe I'll get them in the video. Well, yeah, I will get them in the video. So, <laughs> yes, that is who I'm living with. Not telling you. Unless you've figured it out already, then well done you. Um, next I go in with the Stay Matte Powder, this is the Rimmel London one, this is in the shade 001 Transparent, love this, I've literally been using this since I started wearing makeup, it's great, literally just get my big brush, this is such an old one, it's um, Real Techniques big brush and I use it for powder and bronzer because I don't really care and I literally just shove it on everywhere. Next question. What does it feel like having left drama school? Well, it feels kind of crazy. It feels like I should be going back soon, but I'm not. Um, it also feels good because I feel like I've accomplished so much um, and I've graduated and that's like an amazing thing. But it does feel a bit weird. Like I'm looking for real things now and trying to get an agent and stuff. Um, but yeah, I kind of needed this new chapter, I think, because like, Covid is just sort of finishing and it's nice to have a new chapter with that finishing as well. London is absolutely buzzing. There's so many young people. It's just really, really good. So, yeah, it's very exciting. And, like, I'm excited I can take my YouTube channel, like, through this journey because if someone else wants to do this sort of thing, like, in a year or two, then they're going to be able to see my experiences first and hopefully I'll be able to help people before they do it as well. So if someone, like, didn't know how to get an agent, for example, in a year's time, hopefully I will have an agent and I can make a video about how I got an agent, even if it's not in a year's time, it might be sooner. <laughs> but, like, I just want to use all my experiences to help other people because I feel like that's something that I've lacked, is finding other people giving advice to actors. It's very much a competitive industry and I just don't think people give each other enough help. So... That's my plan with my channel. I feel like I'm getting out of breath. Whew. Next uh, bronzer, Revolution Mega Bronzer Shade 02 Warm. You don't need like loads and loads of this. It's a very, well, I say that and then I'm about to literally cake it on. Um, it's very pigmented, but it is really nice colour. And whilst I do that, I'm going to answer some questions. Somebody said, what is your biggest ambition career-wise? My biggest ambition career-wise is probably to like win an Oscar or a BAFTA or something like that. Um, I feel like that would probably be most actors, like the shower's just deciding to make some noise. I feel like that would be most actors sort of biggest ambition and biggest dream, but it might not be everyone's. Um, so yeah, I think winning an award for my performance in something would be amazing. And being on a red carpet would just be insane but even just reaching the point of like being on a tv program or being on a film or being on the west end even getting there is like such a big thing for me that that that's a big ambition to then be awarded or go further from there like that just seems so big and amazing that i feel like that's just that's it <laughs> that is my biggest ambition 
um but also like yes i'm an actor but i have like career ambitions for other things too like i really want to start my own business um don't know what don't know what it's gonna be but i just want to um and definitely i want to have like property businesses in the future as well so like i have sort of side things that i want to do but like once i have a bit of money first <laughs> um yeah i definitely want to get into property it's where the money is at so i'd love to do that as well but obviously acting takes my priorities because that's what i want to do for the rest of my life the next question is someone said how are you i'm really good thank you how are you for a start the person that's asked me <laughs> um i'm really good like i did have a bit of a weird thing like the past couple of days i was like oh my god like I'm actually an adult now, like, life's slipping away, it's quite scary. But I need to stop thinking that, because I'm still only 22. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really good, I'm so excited about this new chapter. I literally have only been in London for like two weeks and then come back for a week. Um, but that's just because I've got like, family and friends events on and stuff, so I've come back for that. Gonna be back in London, doing my thing, might have a job, who knows. I'll probably know by the time this video goes live whether I've got the job or not. Um, not an acting job, just like a normal job. But yeah, I guess money's like this most stressful thing at the minute because London is so expensive. Unlike when you're not getting acting work and it's hard to find a part-time job that's gonna like understand your career. That's where, that's where things are quite stressful. But it'll be fine. It will be fine. <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself. Right, that's my bronzer routine. You probably saw me caking that on for a bit too long. But that is literally how much I put on. So next for blush, I use this MAC blush in the shade Fleur Power. And I just used this brush from Carla. I think I've got this in America. It's quite cool that it's got beads in it. Really cute. And I literally just go up my cheeks smile a little bit I like to put it quite high and a little bit on my nose and then I get my big brush again and just like sort of blend them in a bit oh somebody's actually said how do you budget in London okay right I'll tell you that whilst I do some eyeshadow I use these two palettes this one is such an old one I got this when I was about 16 from America it's the Too Faced Natural Eyes it's so good um and then this one is the morphe and it's in the shade 9t which is neutral territory so these are the colors in the morphe you see that beautiful and these are the colors in the natural eyes too faced like you can see i've used this one a lot more but i just love these shimmers they're really really well pigmented so to start with this routine that I've been doing a few times recently, I get the Morphe. I don't know if they all have names. I don't think they do. Basically, in the Morphe palette, I start off with this uh, just like beige and I just set my eyes with the beige. Um, so the question, how do you budget in London? Luckily, I live quite close to a Lidl so that's great um because at uni i always used to shop at like aldi and lidl just to try and save money um so yeah i shop at lidl i to be fair i've only lived there two weeks so i can't really talk as if i know everything um i do try and not buy everything i want in life <laughs> because there's shops everywhere which i'm not used to and so like Normally, if I'm in a city, I want to go shopping, but I can't just do that because I live there now. So, like, <laughs> I can't just go shopping every day. Um, and then with, like, the tube, I, I basically get the tube if I'm going to places. But also, you can get an Oyster card, and you set your Oyster card up with a rail card. So, I already had a rail card. Um, and then you get a third off all purchases with your Oyster card, which is great because I didn't know that. Um, one of my friends told me about that, and that's actually really good way of saving a lot of money especially if you get the tube like every day to work or something 
so i do that i try and eat in as much as possible recently i've been out a lot but that's because i've been like hosting people and stuff but when i get into my normal routine i probably won't spend a lot of money on food at all um i want to like start walking more places as well because london's so much smaller than it looks and like you can actually get to places quite quickly so i definitely want to start walking more shopping at lidl not going shopping every time you see something you like in the window <laughs> um it's the food and the drink that costs so much like drinks are about 10 quid it's ridiculous um so i need to stop going out for cocktails basically or like budget so that i can go out for cocktails but i am so <laughs> not to take my own trumpet but i am really good at budgeting i have a bit of an excel addiction and i make an excel spreadsheet with my budget and i've been doing this the whole way through uni and it's a really good way of knowing how much money you can actually spend and knowing when to say no to things and when to say yes and like i know some people are like you shouldn't say no to anything because like life's short but okay but then if you say yes to everything and then have no money you're going to end up saying no because you've got no money anyway so and you might have really wanted to go to that thing so it's just like the balance of everything and yeah basically and just knowing what's in your bank and what's not next i'm going with this one here which is the corner one here and this one i just put in my crease crease always sounds so weird when you say it about makeup i don't know why i'm gonna have to like look in this mirror as well as in the camera because otherwise i'm gonna end up looking like a clown it's all on that brow bone in the crease and just blend it out uh, but keeping it quite high to like elevate my eyes so that is what that looks like. And then I go in with this shade in the middle, which is darker. And I basically do that just on the crease bit there and then blend it out a little bit, um, but not as much as that one. Somebody said, what is your favorite thing about drama school? Probably the people I met. I feel like I met some great people and we did just have a lot of fun, um, whether that was like in drama school or out of drama school. And then I would say the third year shows, like they are probably the most fun thing you'll do at drama school. <laughs> they were for me anyway. I know some people didn't like them, but that's what I was there for. I wish we'd just been doing shows the whole time. Um, for me, I just, I just love the adrenaline of shows. I just love doing shows. I just love it so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, the shows and the people were definitely the best parts about drama school for me. Like the social life, isn't amazing and especially during covid um but it probably could be much better so for people that are going soon or whatever you probably will have a better social life than i did the same person also asked what's your least favorite thing about drama school my least favorite thing about drama school is probably some of the teachers <laughs> i'm just being real with you here i can't name names obviously don't want to get you know in any shit for this but like yeah basically some teachers aren't the best um and lectures are just not my favorite thing like i just didn't want to be doing lectures but other than that i can't even think i guess it is a very stressful and competitive place but um just depends how you deal with that like some people hate that but i don't mind that i feel like i'm quite used to that from the secondary school i went to it was quite stressful and competitive so it just felt like an extended version of that and it was all about drama there are a few people i didn't like <laughs> so they might have been my least favorite part but i feel like you just get over them eventually and you just you know they're never going to change so you just have to ignore them because you're probably not the only person that's thinking that um so yeah i guess it's the same in any industry like you're always going to like people and dislike people so my favorite thing is like the great people but my least favorite thing is the people that they're just just didn't get on or whatever um and yeah the lectures they're just not fun <laughs> so like that's probably why it's the least favorite part because you want things to be fun i'm just taking that dark and i'm putting it under my eyes just like sort of like an eyeliner on the lower lash just to make the eyes pop but to be honest saying that like there wasn't many people i didn't get on with there's only like a couple so. also zoom classes were just not the one but that's not like drama school's thing that's just covid isn't it 
Cool. So that's what that looks like. Then we get the Too Faced palette and we go in with the shade Push Up, which is like this rose gold shiny shade there. And I just use the flat side of this brush. This is just the brush that comes with an Urban Decay palette. It's the only brush I use. <laughs> I'm not a makeup artist at all. So I just get this Push Up shade and I just basically like tap it on there this is apparently supposed to make your eyes look bigger this is what i used to always do when i was younger and then i just got out of the habit of doing it and then i get the lightest shade here which is this uh, pink one called classic and that just goes right in the inner corner and underneath a little bit and just poke yourself in the eye wash to do that and then just blend again on top in case any of the shimmer has gone up into that bit then eyebrows do i have any more questions let's have a look biggest tip for auditions um okay let me just tell you what i'm doing my eyebrows this is the collection incredible brow kit and i really like it but i use the brush from a different eyebrow kit which is the one that I used to always use. So it's a brush like this. It's just an angled brush. And I basically use the darkest shade of this um, and just draw my eyebrows. Um, my eyebrows are pretty dark anyway. I just make them darker. My biggest tip for auditions is go in being yourself and like people understand if you're nervous and stuff, but like try and shake off the nerves because everyone's nervous um and like just fake it till you make it basically with the nerves because there's no point being nervous really at the end of the day like they're gonna like you or not like it's nothing to do with you as an actual person it could it's basically just to do with like do you have talent yes or no do you look like someone that they've already got on their course do you bring something unique to the course or to the table if it's for a job, like, do you have the skills they need you to have? You've just got to not take anything personally in this industry. That's what I've learned in the past however many years. Um, because it's never about you. It's about the thing as a whole and whether you just fit into that. Um, make sure you are, like, so prepared. Make sure you know your monologues and your lines and everything, like, you could do them whilst running round. You could do them whilst doing press-ups. Because at some auditions, they do make you do really weird things whilst saying your monologues. So the better you know them, the easier all of these challenges are going to be that they throw at you. Um, I think I've said it on my channel before, but I literally had somebody like... I had to do it for someone else. But they were doing their monologue whilst like flinging me around a room. I was like, I didn't really sign up for this at an audition, to be honest. I didn't even know it, <laughs> but I got flung around the room, hurt my wrists a bit, but you know, we move on. They might make you say it in a different way. They might ask you to do it to a person who you don't know. They might ask you to carry chairs around whilst you do it. So the more prepared you are, the easier all that's going to be. Make sure you're prepared in case you get an interview as well, because like interview questions are obviously different to doing a monologue so just make sure you know your stuff about that school why you want to train there and what you can bring all of the different things you've done in the past because they might say well, what's the last thing you ever did and you might freeze on the spot <laughs> because i did that <laughs> um so yeah just be prepared for like interview questions too because you never know what they're going to ask you and um, then this gel comes with that kit so then i just brush them up with this gel but to be honest, like, auditions are actually so fun. I think you've just got to go in thinking, oh, this is just like a fun workshop rather than this is a life or death situation because it's just not. I've got a video that is the top five tips of how to boss your drama school auditions. So go and check that one out because... Oh, just dropped my camera. <laughs> because check that video out because I literally prepared what I was going to say and probably said it a lot more concisely than that. Right, then I use my favourite mascara ever, which is the Telescopic Extra Black L'Oreal Paris. I've got two. This one's basically dried up just to separate my lashes, and this one's very new, so it's very liquidy. That's the only thing with this. When you first buy it, it's like 
so liquidy. So using both at the same time is good for me. Someone said if you could only live off one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'm pretty sure I've answered this question so many times, um, <laughs> which is porridge or a Caesar salad, most likely. Um, they're just my favorite things ever. I really shouldn't do this in the camera. I should do this in the mirror. If anyone has any video suggestions as well that you want me to do about living in London or about acting or drama school, like please, please comment them down below. I, I don't care if I don't know who you are or anything. I just want to know what people watch and want to watch. Like, do you want food challenges? Do you want weekly vlogs, daily vlogs, drama school stuff? advice videos, fashion videos, makeup videos. Literally, I just need to know. Does anyone else have like one eye of eyelashes that are just awful compared to the other one? But this eye is just rubbish. Okay, so I've done my mascara, that's what the eyes are looking like. And then for some reason, whenever I've got my eye makeup on, I feel like I need more bronzer again. So I just go in with a bit more bronzer. <laughs> I do have a bronzer addiction. Because I just feel like it shapes my face so much more than my face is. So for the lips, I've actually lost my favourite lip liner ever. I, I might be in here somewhere, but I've literally lost it. And it was the MAC one in the shade Spice. So if any of my friends have that at home, please can you tell me? Because I've actually lost it. Um, so anyway, for now, no lip liner. So I'm just using the MAC lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. I've also been loving a few different lip liners at the moment. Um, different, but they're just not as good as the MAC one, to be honest. And then I've also been loving this. Oh, I must have left it in London. Uh, my friends bought me this Ted Baker, like, it's literally like a purpley pink lip balm but it's like a lipstick and it's amazing i've been loving that one um but this is just velvet teddy i'm sure most people know about it it's nearly finished and i just put that on and it looks like that and then this is a new lip gloss absolutely loving it it's from mua makeup academy and this is actually the shade i don't know but it was clear originally but it's turning pink as you can see because i always wear pink lipstick and it goes in um this happens with every single clear lip gloss that i buy it just applies so nicely and it smells like mint oh it's delicious i'm not that i've eaten it but it just smells delish i'm just obsessed with lip gloss at the moment so that is it and then once my mascara is like fully fully dried i go in with the sport fix revolution you have to get the sport one because if you can do sport in it then you can do a night out on it and literally your makeup stays so i just spray this on with my eyes shut and then i try really hard not to get my mascara everywhere and i just dry it like so and this is the final makeup look i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've enjoyed some of the little questions and topics i've been answering along the way and i will probably do an updated makeup routine in another year's time whenever it changes but i hope some of it has helped i will try and link some products down below and i'll link any videos that i discussed down below as well but i really hope you've enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye Oh, 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 oh,